What's going on, Nerd Nation? This is Sleeve Card signing in and welcome you guys back to another episode of Z Lock. This is episode 13, you guys. So, last episode, in case you missed it, we knocked out our third, our second trial, third trial, whatever you want to consider it. Second trial, if we don't consider the grand trial. But we went into Brooklyn Hill, whooped an Araquanid, who actually gave us a little bit of a handful. Uh, but slowly but surely, using our Rotom powers and our teamwork, we pulled through. Uh, earning ourselves the Watrium Z. Now, between episodes, you guys, I did do a quick grinding montage just to knock out a couple trainers that were floating around, stuff like that. But all of that has led us up to where we currently are, uh, which is back down by Paniola Ranch. I'll show you guys. We are right, right there's the daycare. So we are just south of the daycare, guys. Uh, where we have had the pseudo wudo all blocked up and holding us back from progressing through the story. So we are going to get past them and then kind of see where the story takes us. Um, because there's a couple options uh, up ahead that I know happen in the story. But I don't know what comes next and kind of where we go from here. Uh, but, 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 before we get into all that, figure it all out. Let's take a quick recap on our team, as always, to kick off the episode. So the first things first, uh, we are still rocking out with Bruce at our lead. He is up to level 21, actually picked up knockoff during the grinding montage, which is super useful. Uh, especially if you guys saw that last battle on our grinding montage where we had the slow poke and I believe it was a Mr. Mime. So having a knockoff on Bruce actually is pretty usable, especially when we're dealing with any psychic type. So rocking with knockoff, revenge, karate chop, and low sweep. Still got the scope lens uh, just in case things get a little hairy. Next up we have Pennywise who is sitting at level 24 right now with Aqua Jet, Bubble Beam, Icy Wind, and Disarming Voice. Picking up Bubble Beam last episode actually to replace Water Gun, so we have picked up a couple options. Almost a level 25 even, uh, Bruce is almost level 22. Hugo, our third party member, uh, Hugo is pulling down Bite, Baby Doll Eyes, Work Up, and Take Down with that Normalium Z that has actually helped out quite a bit. Uh, we saw spamming it through the last trial to get us to the totem Pokemon, so that definitely adds up. And last but not least, so last episode, you guys, in Brooklyn Hill, we picked up Pelly, our Psyduck. I went ahead and decided to keep Pelly on the team just for that confusion option. I don't know how much we'll use it, but uh, we'll definitely carry it with us. Uh, but Pelly is level 14, neutral natured. Uh, with Tail Whip, Water Gun, Confusion, and Fury Swipes. I'm actually going to go ahead and put Pelly in front of the team right now. Just that way, hopefully, maybe, possibly, we can get some levels here. But, I'm not, like, overly excited for Pelly. Um, but basically, our only options after getting the Water Room Z were going to be add-on Pelly or add-on our, our uh, Wingle. I think it's, it's Ringle. Ringle the Wingle. Uh, but our Wingle or Pelly, and Pelly definitely outgains Wingle. So let's see what these pseudo Wudo got going on. Woo! Oh, we scared them off. What the hell? Wait, wait, wait. Did I see Ultra Recon Squad? Oh, okay. Okay. Are we going to have a battle with them? Because that is going to be badass. Oh, ho. These pseudo Wudo are fascinating Pokemon as well, worthy of being a research topic on their own. The way they mimic plants in order to avoid water, how very interesting. Just as our research suggested, Captain Fico. Indeed, we must gather... We must gather data about Pokemon if we want to win battles after all. Are they gonna battle me again? Howdy! That being said, there's no need for us to use these odd Alolan Pokemon. Solaria, if you would be so kind. Trainer, could I ask you to face me in a Pokemon battle? Okay, okay, I'll face you in a battle. Is what? I'll face you with my Poi Pull? Okay. I actually, I knew that we got Poi Pull in the game. I did not remember running into it so early. Okay, okay, so we're gonna see Poipol, which is a poison dragon? I don't know if it's part dragon yet. I know it's poison. 
Level 20, okay. Now, this is where Pelly could be usable with Confusion. However, six levels below is not someplace I want to be at. So, we're going to swap into Pennywise. I'm going to go for Icy Wind because I think it's part dragon. I think. Finishock didn't do too much. Um, I don't know if he's dragon yet, though. That's my only issue. So, we're going to go for Icy Wind. So hopefully the speed drop will help us quite a bit because charm is sucks for us. All right, so he's not part dragon, uh, or at least not yet. So he's just got to be pure poison at this point then. As you can tell, I'm just a real Pokemon master. You know, I know all all the typings, ish. <laughs> all right, that's fine. He can Thunder Shock again. So now. Now that we've got the speed advantage, let's go for our bubble beam. At least this one's stab. Stab, it does a little more damage. Oh, not quite enough to take it out, but that's okay. A little aqua jet here. And this should actually take him out right here. If I could get Poipol right now, that would be pretty good. I would not be upset by that. What the fuck? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Alright, that minus two on our charm definitely hurts. Or minus two because of charm. Not on our charm, but because of charm. Um, okay. Aqua Jet. That's the thing. I don't want to risk Aqua Jet too much. Do we heal? I can either heal here. Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and heal. Um, I would say I could Aqua Jet, I don't want to run it and risk not getting the hit, or not getting the KO, because then we would definitely lose Pennywise, which it, I am not about to do. We is not about to lose Pennywise. Not here, not now. But now, what that'll let me do actually is play it a little safer, because I'll go for the Bubble Beam, knowing that we'll get the KO. I guess I could have gone Bubble Beam first anyways, but it's better to just play it a little safer, no matter what. So Pennywise, picking up the level. Okay, we're at level 25. That should be it. Oh, Pelly! Oh, Pelly! Pelly racking up a level 2. That that should be good for Pelly. Um, I'm surprised that Bruce didn't get a level, because he was pretty close. Thank you so very much. I was able to understand Poipul better. But it seems my Pokemon battle skills leave much to be desired. That Z-powered ring of yours. It feel it's it, it, uh, uh, it it's light <laughs> some feels somehow nostalgic. Do you think it is the same light our ancestors gazed upon? The light said to have come from the blinding one. Who can tell? Yet it is our duty as the Ultra Recon Squad to find that out. Toodaloo! I love how- and then this kid's just sitting here like, Um, I don't know what's going on, but shit is crazy. He looks so baffled. Um, okay, and then there's whatever's happening to my left here. Well, we are on Route 6, which should mean new encounter. If there's anything to encounter over here. Um, I guess we'll take on the duo here and let's see what we got. Captain Kiawe is teaching you how to dance. Kiawe. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's Kiawe next, and then Malo. So if we pick up the Fire MZ. I don't know that Fire MZ. Honestly, I don't think Fire MZ is going to help us all that much, because we don't have any fire types right now, unless we pick up something cool at Well of Volcano, or in the next, like, route or two, which I would not be upset by. Not at all. Um, I think we'll just go for Confusion on Igglybuff. We can go for Icy Wind on both of them. The main thing here is getting Pelly at least pseudo, pseudo competent for our team. Ooh, 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 okay. Wait, what the hell? Competitive. Alright, alright. They're both getting competitive. Hopefully this will take out... Igglybuff, though, so I'm gonna worry about Igglybuff. Jigglypuff, um, Hound, maybe? I don't know. Double Slap, okay. Same, same thing. 
I have a boosted special attack in order to use a physical attack. It hit five times though. That's fine, because I know we'll hit confusion there. We will hit with the B beam right there. Should be enough. Yeah, should be I say should be enough on its own. If it isn't, confusion was gonna clean up. Pelly picking up two levels so far. This has been a good episode for Pelly. Water Pulse, yes. Yes, we are learning Water Pulse. I will actually... Water Gun is base 40. Water Pulse is 60, yeah. We're going to actually get rid of Water Gun for Water Pulse. I'll leave Tail Whip on for right now. Um, Possibly down the line, if he learns, like... I don't know, Headbutt or something. We can put it on. <coughs> Some options. Oh, what? There's an item just, like, right... Oh, my God. Another Revive. So, in the montage, I sold eight revives, and then I've already picked up two more revives since then. Oh, nope. <laughs> I completely looped this guy, and he didn't see me. I was right in front of his face. Right in front of his big, fat face. Picky Pick. Okay, now Picky Pick, we can actually add onto the team right now, which would not be the worst thing in the world. Because um, we have a, a decent normal flying... Which could be usable in like a, uh, could be usable in like one to two trials. That's what I was looking for. Oh, almost said episodes, but like a, a couple trials. That actually could be usable because it's going to be good against, where it took care of fighting. Um, it should be usable against, uh, da, 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 grass. So when we get up against Molo and all that, that's when this could come in. Now the question is, do I make this a fifth team member or do I just box Pelly? Like Pelly's holding its own, but this is so much more tempting. <laughs> It may look spindly, but its neck muscles are heavy duty. It can peck at a tree 16 times per second. Yes, we are going to give Picky Peck a nickname. Um, I'm going to actually nickname Picky Peck... Samantha. No, you know what? We're just going to name it Sammy. Nah, we'll go Sam. Sam the Picky Peck. Uh, and the reason for that is because Toucan Sam, when he becomes Toucanon down the line, that actually could be useful. Some, there, oh, I just discovered like a whole hidden area by accident. Sleep talk, okay, not useful for us, but there it is. Oh, and we still got this guy to face. So before I hop into this guy, I want to take a quick look at Sam. Level 17, boosted special attacks, kind of eh. Uh, Echo Voice, Rock Smash, Supersonic, and Pluck. That would be okay if it had, like, Skill Link, but it does not. Rock Smash could be interesting against the Fire Trial. Just depending on levels. But let's see what William has to say. Bounce Sweet. Okay, Bounce Sweet. Bounce Sweet something we don't want Ellie in for. Um, I would say Sam, but Sam's a little beat up right now. So we're gonna go into Pennywise and just go for an Icy Wind. Icy Wind Pennywise is definitely probably our most overused move so far. I'm not sweating evasiveness, so I'm not concerned about that. I might... So what I'm thinking is I might box Pelly because we already have a solid water type that we use quite a bit. Um, and then... We start running with... Sam. So those are some options. We could run with Sam. Mareep. Oh, that's not going to be good. Okay. 
<laughs> we have five team members, three of which are not are not good against Marie. That's okay. We'll let Bruce we'll let Bruce swing it around now. Even though static is gonna be an issue. We'll go I'll go revenge first. Marie's slow. But not that slow. Like Marie's slow, but it's not much chop slow. But at least we don't have to worry about static. And we get the crit. Crit revenge. Uh, even though revenge shouldn't have been triggered. And we get to level 22. I'm a breeder. I'm sorry for losing. Okay. Don't beat yourself up, buddy. Oh, I can't go below him. I gotta go above. Okay, there. What the hell? Oh, there's a whole thing going on over here. I guess we're gonna be involved in it. And there's a Pokemon Center. Me! You there, trainer? You there, trainer? Can you come to my aid? Over here! Over here! Yo, yo, yo! Don't go turning your backside on us! And you! You're that numbskull trainer from Mele Mele, yo! These scoundrels are Pokemon thieves? And you're on familiar terms with them? Uh huh. <laughs> I don't know them. I don't know them. They don't know me. We don't know none of none of. I don't want nothing to do with that. Yo, for real? I am Hapu. Life in the big city sure is something else. Pokemon thieves roam about brazenly. Hmm. I leave that one to you. We're not thieves, yo. It's a legitimate business. We got straight up messed up. In Mele Mele, got exiled to Akala, but we ain't going out like that. Ain't going out like that. Oh, my nose is itching like crazy. I'm like, Aah. so if you guys see me, I'm not picking my nose. I'm just like rubbing it because it's itching me. I've been challenged by Team Skull. Drowsy. Okay. Drowsy. See, this is where it gets cool that uh, we have. Knock off on, on my boy, but we're actually gonna go into Hugo instead and then start biting our way through this. Bite, bite, bite. We will bite, and we will win. Oh, oh! I thought it was gonna be a one-hit KO for a second. I was like, oh, done, done. But no. Hold down. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You can hold out. That is a okay. Alright, beating Team Skull. With all these losses, our anger, our bo we're gonna anger our bosses. These tears you taste like salt, yo. Near. Mudsdale, shall we stomp these scoundrels? It'll be a mess to clean up afterward, but I'm willing if you are. Time for us to break out, yo. Gotta tell y'all peace out, yo. I'm not gonna keep telling you this, except when I keep telling you this. You better listen to what my homie says. <laughs> and drill it into that thick skull of yours. Seriously, we better not forget, numbskull. You'll be fine getting home. Floon! Glad to see that Drifloon will get home on her own. I've got to thank you for that. Give me your name, trainer. Sleeve, huh? That's a fine name. I like the way you handled yourself in battle. Mudsdale and I are always wandering all about Alola to try to achieve our goals, so perhaps we'll meet again someday. I am indebted to you for your aid, after all. <laughs> Ah, yes. You might want to try your hand at a battle royale or two, Sleeve. Mudsdale here thinks you'd be well suited to it, given how strong you are. Okay. So we're gonna go try a battle royale. Royale. On the Royale Avenue. Another cutscene? Come on, dude. We just got a cutscene. The one thing, so I'll, I'll complain about this because I've complained already. 
I cannot stand the amount of cutscenes in Ultra, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Like, I just want to play the game, and I feel like there's been an endless amount of cutscenes that have constantly dragged this whole process down. Because if you remember when we did uh, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, we were through with the whole thing in like 40 episodes. We had made it to the Elite Four in like by episode 38 or something. And in this one, we're on episode 13 and I'm not even through the equivalents of like the third gym. It's just getting ridiculous. I'm gonna do a quick blitz. Yep, there we go. I was like, I'm gonna do a quick blitz and look for some stickers. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. I will know you, city, this city. See, like, normally I would go through and I would start talking to all these people and exploring more, but it's just, like, the way the cutscenes have dragged everything through, I feel like not exploring just so I can continue and blitz through everything. Oh, my boy Gladion's here! <laughs> Why do I do this? Every time something brings me down, I end up right back here again. Come on, Null. We'll beat everyone who stands before us. We're going to be strong enough to protect them this time. Oh, can I leave? Can I just, like, skip this whole portion? I don't know that I can't... Oh, can I? I think I can. Oh, I'm balling out of here. Fuck that shit. I think I can, actually. Nope, nope, nope. We're gonna go back. Only reason I say we're gonna go back is because obviously the 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 uh, flag or whatever's still there, so we must be uh, compelled to go there. I'm a little concerned that we wouldn't run into the next trial if I try to get up to the top of the volcano now. So I'm gonna knock that out. Here we go, hopping into the trial. Or not trial, not even the trial, that's the problem. Not even a trial, just a gigantic waste of time. There's a sticker, there we go. I was like, ah, there's gotta be a sticker around here somewhere. Yes, yes. <laughs> Episode 13, stickers and stickers. Glad you could make it. Oh, it's the mast. The mast man. I'm here today, yeah. To spread the word, oh yeah. About Battle Royale, brother. They call me the Mast Royal. Who? Uh, the what? Professor? I like the person waving in the background. <laughs> the Mast Royal, brother. I'm here to teach you, oh yeah. About the battle format passed down in Lola for generations. The Pokemon Battle Royale. <sighs> but Royal, what is the Battle Royal, you might ask? Four traders. Four traders, yeah! Each pick three Pokemon, yeah! For one big Pokemon battle, oh yeah! <laughs> I love his speech patterns. When one trainer's team can't battle anymore, yeah! The battle royal ends. Whichever trainer's taken out the most Pokemon, yeah! And has the most Pokemon left will emerge the winner. Whoa! <laughs> I'm just like, eh? <laughs> oh, okay, buddy. Calm down. First, just give it a shot! Pick your Pokemon and let's do this, brother! <laughs> Dude. Dude. <laughs> Dude. It's the Masked Royal. I want a battle. I want a battle. You there. Come join the fun. Yeah. We'll be. I'll be in the mix too. Yeah. And we have ourselves a foursome. Hoo 
What? Gladion too? Discovery! New experiences! Adventure! It's all yours if you want it! <laughs> it's time for a Pokemon Battle Royal! Ready? Fight! Dude gets a little, little pumped. Little pumped! That's what we call him, little pump. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for other reasons. Other reasons. We're in the Battle Royale Dome, the arena for Battle Royals. The Dome is packed with excitement. Now here come the contenders. In the green corner, Sleeve has sent up Pelly. Oh my god, I sent up Pelly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pelly, Toracat. Okay, we might have an advantage on Toracat. Rock Ruff. Oh, oh, oh. I thought we sent out Pelly by mistake, but we are cleaning house now. Obviously, Type Nulk is going to be an issue. Also, I don't know what levels these are going to be. Uh, but... If they're all on the same level as us, I mean, we should be good. Oh, we only get one, so I can't even swap out. Alright, we're going to go Water Pulse on Rock Ruff. I feel like Rock Ruff's got the lower... Oh, Rock Ruff going for Protect! The battle... The... He's using them, them ace moves! What? I love how... Oh, I was gonna say, I'm like the slowest person here. Okay. In that case, um, we're gonna water gun Toracat. Let them beat each other up, that's fine. Don't... No! Survive, survive, survive! Now, I will say this. I think Peli... Even though Pelly fainted, I think uh, we should. No, I'll say I think we should count, not count it because we're kind of forced into. I don't know. Let's 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 debate it. I'm gonna I'm gonna set Pelly aside. You guys tell me if we should count that as a death or as a. Like you know, of course it happened. Doesn't count. Um. It's hard for me to say. I feel like we should count it as a death. Um, just because he did it did technically faint. So you guys let me know down below what you guys think. That'll be the question of the day, guys. Um, should Pelly be considered fainted or, sh or you know, dead or whatever? What do you think? It's easy to have fun, a fun time in the Battle Royal. Woohoohoo! You even have a shot at beating real tough opponents this way. Yeah? boy yeah i don't think we could have gotten into the trial because this is the captain right here you were on fire during that battle i hope you bring that fire with you and burn up my trial i gotta discover the voice gotta discover it let it roll roll on me the name's kiawe the fire captain you can get to wella volcano park from route seven i'll be waiting on the peak if you plan to see your island challenge through to the end, climb to the top with your strongest team. <laughs> so, Sleeve, how, how are your trials going? I hope you and your Pokemon are working hard and having a blast. Hoo -hoo! But Mast Royal. Dot dot dot. Oh, maybe if I hit the right button. How'd you even know that we're doing our trials right now? Oh, I get it. Because of our amulets, huh? Well, I'm having a blast. But why are you here? Why would you even want to do a battle royal? You still trying to get stronger or something? Or maybe, or maybe you just want to make some friends. <laughs> uh, he's strolling out. Strolling out, rolling out, oh, 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 oh. I'm not here. I'm not here to play. I'm here because you can't protect anything when you're weak. Wow, you're just a ray of sunshine, huh? I think you'd have a lot more fun if you just let yourself have a good time with everybody else. You can do a lot more together, too. Well, I don't know what his deal is, but I thought that battle was just plain fun. And that's why I'm going to keep doing them battle royales. And my Pokemon seem to like it, too. Woohoo! Oh, 
All right, we're gonna do something that I don't know why I didn't think about doing this first place. Oh no, I already did. Text me this fast, huh? <laughs> All right, so next up is the Wella Volcano Park. Uh, but, because we're pulling on like 30 minutes on this episode, I'm going to actually end the episode. I know it was very eventful, uh, because it was just cutscene, 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 cutscene. Which, like I said, really upsets me. Actually, you know what, we're not going to heal, because I want to check something real quick. I want to check to see if they consider... No, Pally has not fainted, technically. Okay. Uh, or at least they healed him. Healed her. Uh, but, I'm gonna end today's episode right here, so you guys can actually tell me the status on Peli, and we can kind of decide from there. But, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end today's episode. Next episode, you guys, we are taking on Wella Volcano Park, uh, which should be a little spooky, because that Kiawe sounds a little intense, but... If you liked today's episode, uh, leave a thumbs up for me down below because your support is always greatly appreciated. Uh, we are trying to hit 10. That's my goal. Each each episode is to try and get 10 thumbs up, if humanly possible. So slap a thumbs up if you uh, like the episode. Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know any feedback you may have, anything like that. And with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. This is Sleeve Card signing out. Have yourselves a beautiful day, and I will see you again with Z-Lock on Monday.